It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are playing Tattlebots. We all know your secrets, and there are only six competitors left. Uh, down to one from each side died during last session. Um, we also saw, at the end of last session, our first player going down to a Mark II robot. Now, Mark II robot is going to be it's listed as Magician on this table. Is quite a bit weaker than the the Warlock, which is the Mark V, and we still have a a Mark V on the board here, um, Tinkerbell, who is sitting right there, and then our uh, Mark II is right over here. So let's look at the difference between those two before we get started talking about our transformations. So the charge, that's how much they go up every turn. Difference of six, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. She's really got to be thinking about um, how she uses her energy. Has to be a lot more frugal and is not going to be able to um, really change into anything big for the rest of the game. Battery, eight. Can't save up that much either. That's rough. Versus 30. Wisdom, that's the number of spaces they can move between forms. Three, that's that can be crippling, but again, she doesn't have that many options, but she's going to be kind of staying near the nodes in most cases anyway. Um, and then hit points is six. That's a third of what it started as. And I think in Skibby's case, all, her, all of her hit point decreases have been because of um, going down in, in the model of robot or going, becoming more human. Um, so what does all this mean for the game? Well, I was, uh, this game kind of has a reverse course of many. Most games kind of go up in power and complexity as you go along. Um, there are exceptions to that that I've played, but this one, go, uh, this one goes down in power. So, so we started out, people could become dragons and things like that, and still some people can, um, but it's not gonna happen near as frequently. And we can see that in, uh, in the, the forms that people chose. For example, three people chose birds. Now, I know we had a lot of birds and rats and stuff at the beginning of the game, but that's just because people weren't in contact with each other yet, and so there was no reason to, to spend the, the energy to be anything stronger. Now we have three birds, Shell over there, um, Skibby, who we've talked about, doesn't have a lot of choices as to what she can be, and then um, Danimal also has become a bird. He was attacking the jungle there last, last turn, um, but he's also decreased quite a bit in power, and um, can no longer upkeep the dragon form, and so he... He's gonna do an about face and just kind of head for a secret box because I think I think both teams are realizing that's the way to go and they probably both should have been doing that to start with. Um, so those are our three birds and Chinky is a rat. So the whole green team consists of two birds and a rat right now. Um, Chinky plans to just kind of like hang out here, recover some power. He's the strongest of the green teams right now. Um, but he's not as strong as the blue team's strongest. So as we can we can kind of pair him off. Chinky and Tinkerbell are both teams strongest. Tinkerbell is is Mark V. Chinky's Mark IV. Um, and then Dancing Bear and Shell are both Mark III's. Green team has a Mark III and a Mark II. So blue blue team has a definite advantage. Um, let's see. So Tinkerbell, she's our, our strongest player right now. She became a griffin. Or no, she stayed as a griffin. Just kind of keep into the griffin stuff. So that's a pretty potent, potent transformation. And then uh, Dancing Bear, she stayed as a jungle, thinking that Danimal would continue the attack possibly. And then she's gonna just sit and get some more secrets. So let's go ahead and play the round. I'll stop talking. And then I'll start talking again. So um, Chinky, he, he decided to just hide. Uh, thinking that maybe the griffin would get him, and he's just kind of waiting and getting his power up so that he can defend this area. But the griffin decided instead to head towards this secret box. Um, that, coupled with the fact that she was probably gonna do this anyway, uh, prompted Chibi, to Chibi, who's our weakest player on the board, to fly her bird this way in order to just try and hit some secret boxes over there. Danimal had a, just had a great shot, um, really long shot from here all the way right to there, which was pretty much right where he wanted to go, kind of in this vicinity. And so we get to reveal another secret. 
but overall it's going to be mostly a turn of positioning, I think. So this is one of Jules. Hmm. Does that count? That's one thing I didn't think about. If the person's gone, does it matter? I don't know. Let's make a rule right now. If you pull one of someone who is eliminated, instead of uh, decreasing that person, you get to increase yourself. And so I think that's what we're gonna do. So Danimal is now back to the S or Mark IV stage. I don't know how that really helps him though. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to, uh, subject wise because if you learn someone's secrets, how does that make you more of a robot? I'll have to think on this. It's time for me to go somewhere else right now, so I'll, I'll think about that and come back. I decided that the fairest move would be just to um, let him draw again. I was, I really liked the idea of, of him getting power from from taking the the secrets of the dead, but it doesn't make sense since he's a robot as much to me. Maybe someone could explain it to me. I don't really have enough time to mull it over too much. Um, I thought it might decrease his power as well, but uh, I decided not to do that because, I, I mean, it would make sense subject-wise, but it would make the game kind of less fair, especially adding that rule at this point. His team's not doing that well. So I'll stop talking about it. I've, I've thought about it for a while, but um, we'll draw another one. This one's Dancing Bears. And that's going to bring her down to the M state as well. Uh, Mach 3, Mach 1, Mach 2, Mach 2. Mick, Mick, Mick. And I realized I didn't read the facts for um, Danimal, but we'll, we'll do Dan Dancing Bears first. Her pet peeve is bad breath. She liked to meet Al Capone. And then you remember follow your dreams and flute playing ability, studious, motivated, considerate, musical. All right, Danimal hates cigarette smoke. He'd like to meet Janet Jackson. His personal motto is be yourself, be the Danimal. He's most proud of his successful landscaping business. I'm going over some, some review here with you just so you can remember who we're talking about. Uh, his reputation in high school is Romeo. Three words that describe Danimal, our American fun boy. I think I'm caught up on all the, all the facts, all the secrets. Shell was just flying after Skibby. Uh, kind of got relegated as the defensive player, and Skibby is a weak target uh, for the for the green team, um, or a target for the blue team. But uh, the target belongs to the green team. Just overshot her by a tad, and kind of flew right past her in this little swoop. And now she's got her tail feathers in her face. That'll bring us to Dancing Bear the Jungle with the final reveal from this secret box. And that is, ooh, so that's another tricky situation. Um, Smudge is out of the game, but there's no other secrets here. So I think we're just gonna say that's, that's cash and I'm not gonna let her do a redraw because there's nothing left there. C'est la vie. This next turn we're seeing the um, monochromatic uh, Techno Witches blue team is all gonna be acting before the chromatic green team, which is not so good for the green team, but at least then the green team gets to react. It's not always that bad to move second, especially since if someone attacks you, you can counterattack. Um, let's look at forms right now. Dancing Bear, she's a bug. She's one of our weaker players. Um, she's gonna try and get away and then maybe get close to this secret box that she was going to before. Um, she, she's worried about um, Chinky right here. Um, Chinky became an eagle. Lots of people became eagles, actually. We have three eagles on the board. Bump, bump, bump. Chinky, Skibby, Shell. And then Danimal remained a bird. And Tinkerbell became a badger. This is our first badger. She just had a little bit to go here, so she thought she would conserve some resources, but also um, be able to defend herself, which badgers are pretty all around great. It's nice to be a badger. Shell moving first had a choice. She could have either gone after Danimal the bird over there, um, who's gonna just keep taking secrets out of the box. But instead she went on against the, the weaker 
at least in terms of hit points, Skibby, but the stronger in terms of a combatant because Skibby is now an eagle as well. So it's going to be an even matchup, eagle on eagle action here. Uh, let's go ahead and roll it off. Eagles have stats of 2 1, 2 1. So they're both going to be rolling on the one column. And we'll let Shell go first. She's supposed to. Another big hit. Shell's been good at rolling when she goes first like she's supposed to. So she did three against um, Skibby. That's going to take Skibby down to just three left. Another hit like that, and Skibby's out of the game. Skibby gets to a counterattack, however, and she just got a three to do one damage to Shell. All right. Speaking of Shell and damage, I forgot about Shell's poison from last turn, so I'll roll that now. One to three. I, I'm not sure the exact roll, but I'm pretty sure it's a 50-50 chance. One to three, she's poisoned. Four, five, or six, she's not. She's poisoned, so she's going to take another damage. That's a, a lasting memory. A little farewell note from Smudge. Tinkerbell has just revealed another secret from Danimal. That's going to bring it so he only has one secret left before he's become fully human and is out of the game. Um, it's also going to hurt him because he's going to go down to the very lowest level of robot, Mark 1. So let's go through his card so far. Unusual fact, notorious party animal, pet peeve, hates cigarette smoke, he'd like to meet Jesse Jackson, personal motto, be yourself, most proud of his successful landscaping business, reputation in high school, Romeo. Three words that describe Danimal, American fun boy, Danimal. I apologize, fellas. I, he's Mark 2. Not Mark One. I didn't bring him down all the way. I forgot he didn't. I thought someone had dinged him with uh, the secret home base, but they haven't dinged him yet with the secret home base. Dancing Bear made it to the water. Uh, she plans to turn into some water creature, and then go here on her next turn. Maybe just a fish. Um, and then that prompted uh, Chinky to chase after her, but he overshot her by a space. Kind of similar to what we saw Shell do. Um, I think there's a lot of that in pursuit in this game, which makes attacking even even less of an attractive option. I think really going after those secret boxes is the way to go. Uh, but he overshot her, wasn't able to get her. Uh, I think the the green team maybe made a pretty big blunder early on. But the game's not over yet, so Danimal is going to reveal the final secret in this secret box, and it's ooh, finally. I guess it would make sense that it would finally happen that Tinkerbell gets taken down a notch. She's the only person who's been untouched by secrets this whole game. So let's find out what she was like in high school. Mm -hmm. She was a jock, a spunky, outgoing, and independent person. Tinkerbell. And the turn is going to end with an overshot. Skibby, <laughs> as a bird, was a little incautious and flew right into this secret box here. Um, since it cost her her life, I'm going to let her get a secret out of it um, as her brain is oozing along the walls. And this going to be another one from the big guy, Tinkerbell. And that's going to bring Tinkerbell down another notch at the cost of Skibby's life. All right. So let's see. Her personal motto is, God is the answer to all of our questions. Let me think of a question. Um... Why did she say that? God. Oh, okay. Um, most proud of her degree in French. She's a jock. Spunky, outgoing, independent. Tinkerbell. And I guess since Skibby just died, and I meant to do this with the other people that died, but we'll read them over next uh, next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. Let's go over who Skibby is. So you can know, know who just passed. All right. Occupation. Race car driver. <laughs> she crashed. Uh, childhood nickname Skib Skibby. Uh, secret fantasy involves three men and a baby. Eh, eh. Unusual fact, she was a hostage in Kuwait. Pet peeve, handicapped parking. She'd like to meet Leona Helmsley or Charles Manson. Personal motto, why not? Most proud of her shoes. Reputation in high school. Worst driver. Exuberant, sincere, fun. Skibby.